can we export democracy? Not really. We can be a model of democracy, and I think in the recent past we've been not the best model that we should have. We should recognize that the core principles of what we call democracy will always be altered in different cultures. What Hong Kong creates as a democratic culture and what South Korea creates as a democratic culture won't be quite, or Taiwan, um, or all of China eventually, won't look exactly like us, though some of the core principles will. And we can encourage, we can embody, we can exemplify. Um, but I don't think we, that, that is, there is an iron, ironclad rule that I think all the founders would agree on, including even Hamilton, who's the most um, pugilistic and bellicose of them all. By definition, democracy is a voluntaristic political culture. Therefore, it cannot be imposed in a coercive way. You cannot invade a country and impose democracy. Um, it needs to be discovered by the people who wish to embrace it. It is not self-enacting either. History makes a big difference. In certain sections of the Middle East, there's a thousand years of history that make any kind of voluntaristic compromise system virtually impossible. It will take them a hundred years. Um, we don't want to have an occupying army there for a hundred years. They've got to do it on their own. John Quincy Adams, the son of John Adams, and until recently the only father-son team in presidential history, said, America does not go abroad in search of dragons to slay. Our democratic mission is to be a democracy, to talk positively about it, to represent its virtues. Um, it, it, but if you begin to try to impose those I'm afraid it's counterproductive, um, and I think we're now recognizing that.